guys. Um, first, I want to start off the video by saying I am back on the road after my collarbone break, um, which is super awesome. I did my first ride outside today. That was great. Super windy here in Colorado, a little cold, but still a lot of fun. Glad to be back out on the road tomorrow, heading out for some big miles and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be back on the road. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about 2020. So it looks like they're not sending a team pursuit to Milton or to Worlds for, for the men's side of things. They're gonna kind of put their focus into the men's bunch racing side of things because, I mean, they still have a shot at qualifying for the Olympic Games, so they need no distractions. They need the uh, resources and uh, no need for us to be taking up those resources. I mean, they need to focus on those guys because those guys have a real shot and hopefully a potential at even meddling at the Olympics, who knows? Uh, anything can happen. So uh, I'm hoping the best for those guys. Uh, as far as me individually racing, possibly the pursuit at Worlds, uh, that still hasn't been decided, but uh, it's probably not looking likely, which is totally understandable. It's not an Olympic event, so I get it. It is what it is and um, it's probably best to make sure that those funds are allocated towards the women and towards the men that have the opportunity of uh, of securing a spot at the Olympic Games in 2020. And I wish nothing but the best for those guys um, and women for that matter. Um, it's been super cool training with them over the last few years and you know, to continue to train with them is gonna be even better. Um, but yeah, so I just wanna talk about 2020. As you guys know, I am doing a little bit of gravel and a little bit of the dirt stuff this year um, just because I don't necessarily have a road team so I won't be able to go to any of these USA crit races or or go to any of these big road races because I don't really have a team to ride with and it feels like these gravel races are the best way to get some good fitness and some good training in uh, while while just kind of being on your own and exploring and experiencing it. So I thought, what of a better year to give this a try than, you know, the first year, I guess, for me to try to go for 2024. Um, and yeah, so building a big fitness block in uh, 2020, uh, I will still be racing track. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be giving the gravel a shot. But the partner that is coming on to help this and make this all possible is Contravance. Who is Contravance? So Contravance is a customized van company out of Denver, Colorado. They will essentially do any conversion that you can think of and that they can possibly make happen. Um, they mainly work on the smaller cargo vans and down, but yeah, they, I mean, reach out to them if you have a van and that you're wanting to, a dream build that you're wanting to do, they can make it happen. So essentially I have this uh, Dodge Promaster City that they are gonna convert. I don't even know what they're really gonna do to it. I gave them a couple ideas, but I'm leaving it in the artist's hand. Uh, Kurt over there at Contravans is super awesome and you can tell that he has so many cool ideas. So he's gonna make the van look cool. Uh, I do know that this van that he is going to be putting together for me, not only will it be going with me to all of the races uh, that I'll be doing on my calendar this year, but it'll also be going to Tiny Homes Festival. So he is probably going to make it look super cool. But yeah, so that's going to add a little bit of element to this vlog. Um, I'm going to essentially bring in the van life into this vlog. And uh, I'm super excited to be a part of that. And I'm super honored that um, Contravans is willing to make this happen. Uh, but that being said, um, we're gonna start out with the Mid-South 100, go to La Grind, and then hopefully Kansas if I get in, and then I'll take a bit of a break and start focusing on the track, so I don't know if that means I'm gonna go to T-Town and camp out in T-Town and just race in T-Town, and then go to LA and race in LA and do nationals. Right after nationals, I have about five to six weeks until lead boat, so I'll probably go camping in Leadville, Colorado, and just explore Leadville and see how that is. Try to get acclimated as best as I can to 10,000 feet. There's really not much you can do that far out, but yeah, I'm super excited. And I have other partners that are coming on to make this happen. You know, we're gonna get kits made. We're gonna do the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, 
Over the next few weeks, I'll be dropping the partners that I'm going to be partnering with, the people that are going to be supporting this program. But honestly, this is uh, just the beginning to me to try to go to 2024. Without a road team and without going to Belgium, I need hard, hard races. And I feel like the closest thing we can get to hard, hard, long racing is uh, gravel racing. I could do the crit thing and I've debated it and I probably will do a few crits, but just for the time being, I, I think I wanna explore some of these longer ultra endurance events, uh, races anywhere from four to even 10 hours, just to really get that high level of fitness in. And to just see what it's all about. It seems like there's this cool community and yeah, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm okay with that. I think uh, while it lasts, why not do it, you know, and uh, and experience it and see what everybody's talking about and what everybody's experiencing. Uh, it seems like a very welcoming community, so hopefully <laughs> they'll be super stoked to have me on. Um, but I think one of the main events that I really want to train for it would be Lead Boat, just because it's a day, uh, a back-to-back -back kind of thing. I've never really raced a mountain bike, um, and Leadville is the mecca of all mountain bike races. Um, all I've heard is pretty much how I really, really need to prepare for it, and I'm really, really scared I'm not going to be prepared for it, just because Nationals is so close before it that I won't be really focused on Leadville. All in all... We're gonna make it happen, and I'm super stoked to have Contravans on as a title sponsor for 2020. And hopefully we can make make it last for a long time, and this vlog's gonna take off on pretty much just me living out of the van. I don't know, we'll see. That's the new, the new thing that's happening, and uh, I'm really excited to take you guys along. If you see me at the race, come hang out, because essentially the whole point of this is Contravans is gonna come on, and they're gonna deck this thing out to make these in a community space for these events. I'm gonna be making coffee out of it, uh, come have a beer, come hang out. There's supposed to be a couch in there, a shower to rinse off. Like, it's gonna be decked out. So please, please come hang out, check it out. Give a follow to Contravans uh, down in the link below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. And so that way you can find out when and where I'm gonna be with this van. But next week, I take the keys to Kurt over at Contravans, and he is gonna deck this thing out. So be on the lookout for that because I got some cool plans for how I'm gonna go pick up the van. Uh, it's in Denver, it's about 80 miles away. I think you can kind of do the math if the weather's right. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna ride up there and go get it. Um, we'll see. But other than that, Make sure you go down to the description below. That's where all the Contravans information is gonna be. Um, and my new website I just launched, um, johncroomcycling.com. It's about as simple as it can be. Be sure to go check that out. And uh, thank you a lot. Um, subscribe again. Thank you so much. Um, look forward to seeing you at the races.